Hi there, my name's Dave and I really enjoy wine. I do enjoy drinking wine and I enjoy talking about wine and tasting wine and pairing wine, in fact. Today's wine is a Quailsgate Chardonnay. This is a 2019 Chardonnay from Quailsgate in West Kelowna. $24 for a bottle of this wine. So a little background on Chardonnay because we talked a little bit about Chardonnay last time but not about the actual grape. So Chardonnay originated in Burgundy, not a huge surprise there, uh, and is a crossing of Pinot Noir and a grape called Gouet Blanc which is sort of a um, ancestral grape. There is some Gouet Blanc grown but I don't know if any is actually produced commercially. Chardonnay is now grown everywhere in the world uh, that produces wine. Terroir and oak provide most of the flavor for the wine because the actual grape is somewhat neutral. It varies in taste from lean, crisp Chablis wines with minerality and green fruit tastes all the way to buttery, oaky California Chardonnays. It's used in sparkling. Uh, if you get a Blanc de Blanc, for example, uh, champagne, that is going to be 100% Chardonnay. It's considered very malleable. What that means is it is influenced heavily by the terroir where it's grown and also by the winemaker. It needs to be picked right after ripening, otherwise it will start losing acidity quite rapidly. Because of its short growing season, it is a grape that can be grown in areas that have limited growing time for wine grapes. If you buy a white burgundy, a Pouillet Fousse, or a Chablis, those are all going to be Chardonnay. Quail's Gate Winery, which is just over the water for me in West Kelowna, is a very old winery for the Okanagan. Um, the Stewart family, Papa Dick Stewart, uh, bought the property in 1908, so that's a long time ago. Now, they didn't start planting grapes till either 1956 or 1961, depending on the, the sources I've looked at. But they started planting wine grapes along with uh, orchard fruit uh, way back. In 1989, they changed exclusively to grapes and started producing wine. And they've been very successful since then. It is still owned by the Stewart family, which is something that's a bit unusual for the Okanagan to have one owner for so long a time. Kind of nice to see that. They now produce 50,000 cases a year. So they are one of the bigger wineries in the Okanagan. Quail's Gate, Chardonnay, $24. Let's give it a try. I said uh, appearance, medium, lemon, clear, um, nose, clean, medium intensity. I got, uh, I got some sort of lemon and grapefruit to start with, and then apricot and peach, and a, even a touch of pineapple in there. Smells of uh, vanilla and honey, a little bit of butter. I hope I'm not smelling the wine glass itself, but I smelled sort of a wet stone smell. And then something else, either like, I couldn't tell if it was smoke or maybe toast. Okay. Uh, overall, on the nose, uh, I thought um, quite appealing because yeah. it's got a number of things happening in terms of aromas. Yeah, there, there's some, there's like I said, there's some a little bit of butter and stuff like that, but it doesn't, it's not overpowering, you know, like a, some of those California Chardonnays can be quite, quite strong with that sort of um, oakiness. Well, shall we taste? Mm. Oh, ho, ho. sorry. Today's cheese is a breed of mode that I bought across the street this afternoon. I asked the guy, because um, we have this cheese shop now, and I said, right. can you suggest a cheese for a Chardonnay? And he said, oh, this breed of mode. 
He says Brie's good with Chardonnay, but just Brie de Meaux because it's a little stronger. It's it's quite lovely with it. It's not as um, as crisp and austere as a Chablis, which I like Chablis now. I didn't like Chablis when I started my W step. The buddy at um, at the Pit Meadow store he he suggested two two wines for me. He got me a he got me a Chablis and he got me a California you know um, a popcorn oh. bomb right, and we tried them and we both. At, you know, we were both at the beginning of this, and both of us liked the the, uh, the the California Oak Bomb better than the Chablis. I think now we're we're the opposite. We we much prefer sort of a brighter, shining wine like this one. I said it was dry. I, I was very similar to you actually. I said medium acidity, medium alcohol. Let's take a, a check on the alcohol. It is um, twelve and a half percent, which is right in medium. It's right in the middle of medium actually. So that's. That's good because I just didn't feel that burn in my mouth. Medium body, uh, medium plus intensity, and I I was too trying to decide between medium and medium plus finish because it's a very pleasant finish, and it was just trying to decide how long it lasted for. Because remember the one we had la last time we had that Chardonnay, and it sort of got a little kind of um, acidic in the finish, you know. I after really after that. yeah, I, I found that where this is just. It's nice, smooth, and it just sort of nicely leaves you, right? It's, it's a nice finish. I felt, I felt the, the taste lingering. Mm -hmm. Me too. Um, I got lemon again, um, peach, and the apricot, uh, honey, vanilla. I got butter. I also got a little bit of cheese that you were mentioning. mentioning. I still think I got wet stones. Th that's one of the ones that I just never know if I'm getting it or not, but I felt there seemed to be an underlying... Um, minerality un under there. I didn't get, like I had smoke and toast on the nose. No, no, no smoke, no toast on the palate at all. Um, I thought it was a food friendly wine. Um, I thought it was balanced. Um, the length was good. Uh, the intensity was good. Uh, complexity, uh, you know, it was, it was not super complex, but it was still fine. Uh, I rated it as very good. Chardonnay wines can be found in almost every single winery in the Okanagan. So if you are visiting the Okanagan and are trying different wineries, be sure to taste the difference between the Chardonnays depending on the terroir and the winemaking style. If you are looking into booking a wine tour of the Okanagan next year, and you are interested in a customizable, flexible, and completely private wine tour in the comfort of your own vehicle, please check out the link below in the comments.